with a lot of respect. Addressing the 16th African Dairy Conference and Exhibition on Wednesday this week, Agriculture Minister Frank Tumwebaze noted that Uganda produces about 3.85 billion liters of milk per year. The minister added that the president had set a higher target for Ugandans and he was hopeful that this would be achieved. The, our president has actually given us a target of taking our milk production to 20 billion liters. We are now close to about 4 billion there. We sought the view of the Dairy Development Authority and experts from the School of Veterinary Medicine in Makere University for an insight into this matter. Dr. Samson Akanchiza, who is the Acting Executive Director of the Dairy Development Authority, and Professor Robert Treonger, the Dean at the School of Veterinary Medicine in Makere University, agree that the target is attainable. Looking at, uh, at six years, uh, because we, we, once we have, the, we have uh, stimulated and facilitated the growth in the other milk sheds, uh, but, and also improved the breeds and manage the diseases, and supplement the feeding will be able to more than triple the current production. However, they highlighted key aspects such as improving animal breeds, nutrition and health measures that are required to achieve this target. Uganda, as you know it, has very, very suitable land and environment that if well harnessed, it is extremely possible. This target of 20 billion liters is uh, very much achievable because as the ministry we are working with the animal, uh, National Animal Genetic uh, Resources and Data Bank, NARGREEK, to ensure that we have the dairy uh, breeds uh, which are going to reach out to the communities uh, through community breeding programs. We are also uh, focusing on uh, animal nutrition uh, because the current uh, uh, feeding regimes, the current grazing systems are free range. Uh, where we are saying that we are entirely relying on weather. There is also a need to manage the marketing strategy to avoid a self-created disaster of overproduction. But there should be no worries regarding overproduction as demand for milk can be created locally and internationally, they say. There has been a, a deliberate effort in terms of looking for alternative markets uh, where we are going to Algeria, to Senegal, and uh, thanks to His Excellency the President, uh, there has been championing in the looking for the markets for the milk and other products. And uh, we are in two fruition of having those big markets uh, where our production will be now sold, uh, meaning that the farmers will plow back into the same uh, business and will have more production uh, bumped up. The marketing strategy entails one value addition on the milk because if you want to produce it and sell it as raw milk, that is really likely to be in itself a disaster. But if you are producing it, but you are also having a, pro, a, a strategy of value addition, uh, producing milk powder, and then you have solicited market. Dr. Akanchiza says there are quality control measures already in place and focus should now be placed on quantity. The two had a word of advice for the producers of this milk. Farmers should now look into how to actually respond to this government strategy. First and foremost, by looking into how best they can use the resources that they have. I would uh, request and implore uh, the producers uh, to remain in the dairy production uh, because we are managing the market demands, uh, maintaining the price at the farm gate, uh, but also addressing the issues of production and productivity.